Tech Dad comes in with a question about upgrading, and I think this will apply to many of our viewers, especially okay. those who followed our premium build advice five years ago. Tech Dad says he has an i9 9900K and a 2080 Ti, and he is wanting to upgrade. How best do I do that with $1,000? Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Very carefully. On a more serious note, there are a couple of ways you could go with this. First of all, you want to upgrade great, so we'll answer that question. But I do want to take one step back for everybody else who is watching. An i9 9900K and an RTX 2080 Ti would actually be a great computer to upgrade to, to. for an awful lot of people out there. Our viewers, people in general, that is a great machine. And so while I'm definitely gonna give some upgrade advice, I do wanna stress the fact that I do not in any way, shape or form think that everyone with a 9900K needs to throw it away. Now, I replaced mine this year, but I'm a premium user who runs a tech YouTube channel and there's benefits to me in upgrading and playing with different hardware. If I didn't run a channel, I might, I, I might have gotten the upgrade itch, but I could tell that the upgrade made a difference but I didn't need the upgrade. It was sort of a, it was a nice to have, it was noticeable, it's pleasant. I would not have died if I had waited another year. So. I would have just had to listen to him complain. I didn't complain that much. What? You go back to drinking your tea. I see. Well, I don't remember complaining that much. The funny thing is if I did go back to it today, I'd be like, what the heck is this pile of nonsense? You get used to something and then when you upgrade, you go, was it a big deal? I would encourage anybody who does a complete new system build, keep your old one around. Use your new one for a week, mm -hmm. then go back to the old one, and then you'll be like, oh, that's why I upgraded. Okay, this could go away now. So there's a couple of options. First of all, you were an i9 buyer five years ago. I generally say that people who were i9 buyers should buy i9s. People who were i5 buyers can buy i5s, that's fine. But I don't like it when people side grade from an i9 to an i5. Or i7. Yes, although I don't think the 3700X is a deal either way. You either get the i5 or the i9, but. And then there's AMD to consider, we'll talk about that. Yeah. So normally at this point I would say, well, the i9-13900K is your go-to choice. It's about $550. You can get a really nice motherboard for it for about $250 or so. You can spend $300. You can spend $200. Don't spend under $200 for a 13900K. And there's really no reason to spend over $300. You, you're paying for RGB lights and some overkill stuff at that point. Somewhere in the two dollars to $300 is the sweet spot for a premium board for a premium build. Again, he's a 2080 Ti, so yeah. he's a 4090 buyer. Correct. Now here's the trick he's going to face. Ooh. He doesn't have the budget nope. for both a CPU and a GPU upgrade. He does not. Here's what I would normally say. Build a new machine. Everything's out of date at this point. You've got DDR4 and it's from five years ago. You have Gen 3 drives. You may have a relatively small boot drive. You may have, hopefully you have at least 32 gigs of RAM at this point, you might have 16. He may only have like a 500 gig boot drive and maybe a hard drive. Yeah. Or maybe he's got a SATA drive. Because five years yeah. ago, SSD sizes and prices were completely different yep. to today. Yep. So five years, build a new machine. New power supply, new case, new the whole nine yards. Because that way you have an existing machine, you leave it, it works. Everything in it comes from the same era. You can either sell it as a computer, keep it as a spare, give it to a sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, nephew, brother, friend, whatever. Yep. And of course, the benefit to a spare is if something happens to your new machine, you have upgrade issues or you know, downgrade it to a home theater PC mm -hmm. or to, you know, computer for friends to use when they come over and play LAN games or something. If you, if you just replace the motherboard, CPU, and RAM, what do you do with all the rest of the parts? You sell them? You can. But now everything's out of date. You really... No matter what your boot drive was five years ago, it's time for a new one. A yeah. hundred bucks buys you a two terabyte Gen 4 premium drive. I, there's really no reason not to. So now you're replacing your boot drive. You could take your old drive, make it a secondary, but it's probably kind of sad at this point. Mm -hmm. New RAM, what do you do with your old RAM? Cooler? 
Well, you'll definitely need a new mounting kit. Yep, you will. Is your power supply ready for the next generation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of say yes and no to several of these things. Build a whole new machine, make everything from the same generation. Here's the problem. With $1,000, he does not have the money to do that in any way, shape, or form. There's no yeah. version of this story that $1,000 builds a replacement computer that is better than what he's got. Correct. So I'm going to say something. Oh, here we go. Papa Deals is in the house. If you legitimately only have $1,000, keep your computer and enjoy it. I know you have the upgrade itch. You don't have enough money to spend the kind of money required to get a substantial upgrade that will give you a wow experience. The only thing that's really going to blow your socks off is an i9-13900K or a Ryzen 9 7950X. An RTX 4090, not an 80, not a 70, a 4090 is going to be required to truly blow your socks off. It'll be more than double the performance, and it's the kind of upgrade that's going to last you for the next five years without any fuss or muss, anything less will not. You don't have enough money to get that level of experience. Can you upgrade your machine? Yes. Can you find a place to spend $1,000? Yes. New RAM, new storage, new CPU, new motherboard. Keep your graphics card. Keep your power supply. Keep your case. Is it going to wow you? Yeah. Probably not. An i5-13600K and $150 to $200 Z690 or Z790 motherboard, 32 gigs of DDR5 or maybe 64 gigs of DDR4, a two terabyte boot drive for hundred bucks, maybe a new cooler or just a mount. It's faster. But then he's just replacing it sooner because he- You'll need to replace everything soon, yeah. He- You're throwing a thousand dollars away. Yep. Papa Deal says, take that thousand dollars, put it in the hip pocket national bank, or better yet, go buy $1,000 worth of VU, ticker symbol VU, yep. or SPY, I don't care yep. which. The S&P 500, reinvest dividends, Bob's your uncle. There's, there's, there's nothing to do with that computer. It's a great machine. Now, if you want to go the Ryzen route, he could go with a modest B650 board for about $200. Mm -hmm. He could go with a Ryzen 7 7700 or 7700X, eight core chip, as a placeholder waiting for Zen 5. True. He'll need at least a new cooler mounting bracket for his cooler, but he might need a whole new cooler depending on what he's got. He'll need DDR5 RAM, but he could fit that within $1,000. He could. And if you went from an i9-9900K to a Ryzen 7 7700X, you will be deeply unimpressed by that upgrade. And I'm sure somebody watching this is going to say, but tech... Don't you know you should tell him to get the Ryzen 7 uh, 7800X3D? It's the best gaming CPU in the world. I saw a benchmark chart. Not in a thousand dollar budget. It would fit. I mean, 450 for the chip, 200 for the motherboard, 100 bucks for 32 gigs of RAM, a cooler. I mean, it fits. It would be so uh, with an RTX 2080 Ti. You've got to be joking! What a complete waste of money that would be. If he's sitting there expecting that to blow us out, uh, with a 2080 Ti, I don't know that you'd notice any difference. 1080p, slightly. It's 3070 levels of performance. You know, the other thing that we're missing here, Tech Dad, is what's your use case? Are you using it to make money with your computer? Uh, is, are not with $1,000, it's not. Are you gaming? What games? AAA gaming? What resolution? How many monitors? I mean, some use case would kind of be helpful here too. So for those of you who are going to send us a question or want to ask us a question, then please add your use case. You don't have enough money to upgrade that machine to anything worthwhile, save your money. Wait until you do. You need to build a whole new machine. And your current computer's fine. Your current computer's nice. $1,000 doesn't wow you. That is my opinion. I like it. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. 
For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.